I don't even know where I would start or where we should start after game one with Dallas. Y'all going to uh, delete the videos that I posted about us whooping Dallas before this game. I don't even know if I want to be a Browns fan no more after this shit. Um, Dallas came here as a team, not just the NFL team, but as fans and put on for they city in Cleveland. It looked like Cleveland just was happy to have a football game. And I'm talking about the people on the field and the fans. When they say get loud in the crowd, the crowd is weak as fuck. I'm telling you this from a person born and raised in Cleveland. If I was a player on the opposite team and they said get loud and I heard how weak that this goddamn crowd got when these motherfuckers, and it's not the first year, it's been like this, man. Every time they say get loud, man, it's just like, Maybe like 20% of people can understand what the goddamn man says when he says get loud. Cleveland don't respect that. I swear to God, they'd probably rather let, just get drunk. I mean, it's people just come to this shit just to get drunk and to have conversations. I don't really think y'all are really fans of the game as much as some people that really love the fuck out of this shit, man. Now we're going to get to some football for a second. The sign Watson. I ain't gonna put this on him. I ain't even get to watch the goddamn game. But what I do know this, they ain't practice at all. I told y'all this, look back in the videos. I told y'all this weeks ago. I don't know what happened in Greenbrier, but that shit ain't working. Cut it the fuck out and kick it out of that goddamn playbook like everything else you put in there, Ken Dorsey, Kevin Stefanski, and every fucking body else that created this shit that got y'all only like six fucking points today. Horrible. Amari Cooper did not look like a fucking wide receiver today. I don't know what kind of plays I drew up. And everybody know. No, 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 no. Me. I knew this. The offense line wasn't good. We knew y'all wasn't going to be good. Y'all ain't been good for two to three goddamn years. But y'all keep saying y'all are. Outside of that, these motherfuckers keep acting like this is the Sean Watson's team. Like, that's the way that Cleveland got good. No, motherfucker. It's Nick Chubb. Is the goddamn leader of this goddamn team, and that's why he took the goddamn heart out of the goddamn stadium when he got hurt against Pittsburgh, because we knew our hopes for winning the Super Bowl were out the fucking window, because he was our Jim Brown. It wasn't about no Deshaun Watson, it wasn't about Baker Mayfield, and it wasn't about no motherfucking Miles Garrett or no, no David Njoku. We made it about these motherfuckers and Joe Flacco's and Kevin Stefanski's. It was because of Nick Chubb, and you seeing this shit now. Ford, he ain't it. And y'all knew it. Y'all brought him in. Hines, he ain't even playing. God damn it. The other goddamn gonna play it. But Foreman, he ain't playing. Pierre Strong is a third, four year. These players would never play on another motherfucker's team, but they are starters on the Cleveland Browns. You wasted all this time to get Jared Judy for what? Y'all can't even get these players five catches apiece. Motherfuckers can't catch this shit. As usual, Elijah Moore dropping shit. As usual, Nichoku dropping shit. As usual, Miles Garrett, where the fuck were you at today? Zaria Smiths, the Thomasons, all you motherfuckers. The goddamn what's in the number 21 getting burnt. I mean, God, y'all talk so much shit. Y'all might as well start a podcast. Oh, some of y'all already did. 